Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the Ingroove in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival video for November 3rd, 2023. Uh, a ton of killer stuff this week. This is one of the best weeks in a while, and a bunch of really exciting pre-orders were announced this week. So last Thursday, the day this video goes live, wake up, put my morning coffee on, open up my emails. There's like 50 emails. Beatles, 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 Beatles. So it kind of got announced while I was sleeping that the Beatles were announcing their last single ever as a band. Forgot the name of it. <laughs> now and then. So this was something that Yoko gave the band during the anthology uh, movie back in the 90s. Gave a cassette demo. Uh, they tried doing something with it, but the technology wasn't good enough to kind of separate John's vocal out of uh, out of that cassette tape, but they tried. George did some work on it. Ringo, Paul, they all did work on it. It wasn't up to snuff, so they shelved it. They did free as a bird. They were able to make that happen, but this signal they weren't able to make happen. So, with the new uh, technology they got out now, the new demixing technology, you know, where computer software can go in and separate the tracks like they did with the Revolver remix, they were able to put this out. We kind of knew it was coming, Paul had said it, but we didn't know when. And this was kind of a surprise because they literally announced it last Thursday and it drops this Friday. Uh, so they kept it a pretty good secret all the way through manufacture everything because obviously if it's coming out in a couple days, they uh, <laughs> had these manufactured for a while. So I've got the follow variations coming in. I've got a seven inch black vinyl, a seven inch light blue vinyl, a seven inch blue swirl vinyl, and a 12 inch black vinyl. The uh, swirl vinyl I think is gonna be the rarest of the batch. It looks like that's the Indie Store exclusive. It's an Indie Store exclusive and a Beatles website exclusive. But it's kind of cool because it is a Beatles record. It is all four Beatles on this record. It is the last one and it's taking place in my lifetime. Uh, I guess Free as a Bird did as well. But that was kind of, you know, I was pretty young. I wasn't buying singles, but I definitely wasn't buying seven inch singles. But it is kind of cool that all of us will be able to own, you know, I mean, granted there's some guys watching here now that were, the, you know, there when they were coming out with these in the 60s. But for the rest of us, it'll be your chance to own a brand new Beatles seven inch. Uh, so it's kind of cool just for that reason. Also with this announcement, it comes out the following week, so not this Friday, the Friday after next. They're redoing the Beatles uh, Red and Blue Greatest Hits comp. It's the, what is it, 64 to, 62 to 65 and 66 to 70. I think that's it. But uh, they're doing it as a three LP box set. They're doing a three LP, they're doing it as a six LP box set, right? So you can get both volumes in a box set or you can get them individually. The red box is all remixes, stuff that we haven't heard. They're mostly 2023, some 2022 remixes. Uh, the blue box, because they've gone and had these anniversary editions a lot, a lot of those uh, remixes from that era are on the blue. But it's kind of cool because we're going to hear the, re kind of like they did with the Revolver, I think we're going to hear the remix of the Red Album, right? So kind of cool, not just the same thing over and over again. We're going to kind of hear what they did, I think, on Revolver on this Red Album. And they also put the single on the Blue Album. So it's kind of smart on their part because if you want all the new remixes, you got to buy the Red Album. But if you want just the single and you don't want to buy the 7-inch or the 12-inch, you got to buy the Blue Album. So what does that mean everybody's gonna buy the box set? And that's kind of, my pre-orders have shown everybody's buying the box set. Plus, you know, the Beatles, the most heavily collected vinyl band in the world. Many, many people in pre-orders with me ordered everything. So yeah, seven inch, 12 inch single this week. Don't have them yet to show you. I don't think they're getting here until the day of. And then the blue and red the following week. Okay, also pre-order, they announced Quadrophenia and Who By The Numbers. Uh, both of those are Half Speed Mastered at Abbey Road. Those are coming out February 2nd. This next one is a banger. I haven't been this excited about a record all year long. I got the email from Fred at Sam Records on this, and I just, my mind went like, what? Sahab Sahib and the Danish Radio Jazz Group. It is an absolute 
dynamite, phenomenal record. Originals are five grand. They're so expensive. It was done as a Japanese version that was okay. Very, very rare, very good, very desirable. And they're doing it on Sam Records, one of my favorite boutique audiophile jazz labels. That comes out December this year. They're doing 3,000 copies. It says source from the original analog tape. The artwork, though, looks like typical Sam. It looks like it was sourced from the original negatives. Uh, I asked Fred for clarification on if this was cut analog. A lot of stuff he does is, some stuff is not. But uh, all of his stuff has been pretty damn good up to this point. If you guys have had any of it at this point, you know, you can probably attest to that. Also, they're doing the Heath Brothers, Paris, 1976. 3,000 copies on this. That is mastered by Kevin Gray. That should be fantastic as well. The Heath Brothers had a record on Strata that is quite good. I listened to that quite a bit. And then they had some more mainstream success after that. I'm shocked about this next one. But we specialize in audiophile records here at the in-group, so I gotta tell you about this audiophile release that just was announced. That is Bob Dylan's Good As I Been To You on Mobile Fidelity Super Vinyl and SACD. I can honestly say I've never heard this record in my life, or if I have, it's been one time. And I'm a pretty big Bob Dylan fan. They're doing, this is a limited series, so I think they're doing 5,000 on vinyl. I'm gonna give the album a listen to tomorrow. That later Bob Dylan stuff is typically not my favorite, and, but you know, I'll own it because I have all the other Bob Dylan MoFi stuff. Maybe it's a great album. Oh Mercy, my last, that's like the latest Dylan album that I'm like, yeah, this is a great album. Godsmack, self-titled. That comes out uh, December 8th. It's been a while since that's been on vinyl. Saw them on that tour back in the 90s. Dire Straits, they're doing a 12 LP live box set. It's live, 1978 to 1992. It's a gobble live stuff. Go online, you can check it out. You can see what's included. Big box set. They're doing Pink Floyd's Adam Hart Mother. This comes out same day, uh, December 8th. They're doing it as like a multi-disc box. It's not vinyl, but it's a CD and Blu-ray set. It kind of... They're replicating the original Japanese uh, artwork with the Japanese obi and the tor obi, and there's a bunch of other stuff in it. That is on the website for pre-order right now. Just get that out of the way. How's the sound quality? Better than last week, huh? What a story. I'm running long, otherwise I'd tell you what I went through last week. I've got a pile of Mobile Fidelity SACDs. Uh, I'll show you those at the end, I think. Some of them are new, actually. I'll show you the new ones at the end, everything at the end. Hey, check this out. This is Taylor Swift's 1989 on cassette. Now, think in your head right now, what does this single cassette cost, right? Put your comments below. What do you think this single cassette cost of Taylor Swift's 1989, a cassette? You got your comments below? $29.99. I saw this, I had to double check, then triple check, $30. That's how you know you're old. If you see a $30 cassette tape and you're like, holy cow, you've now dated yourself. But the people who are buying this aren't gonna think much of it because the record's more money, which is normal. But a cassette, I guess it's just, I'm not used to seeing $30 cassettes. So it kind of shook me a little bit. Okay, finally, Bob Dylan, <laughs> Bruce Springsteen's greetings from Asbury Park. This is the Mobile Fidelity One Step, but this is a single disc one step. Single disc. Cheaper, only on one LP at 33 RPM. Uh, sparse code on the back, looks nice. DSD 256, analog console lay. I haven't had a chance to listen to it, although they have sent it to me. I just, I say it every time online. I'm just not the biggest Bruce Springsteen fan, especially this record, but I will give it a listen to and talk about it a little bit more in the future. Hey, this is a record I am a big fan of, and I will be talking about this very soon. Miles Davis, Seven Steps to Heaven from Mobile Fidelity. Uh, this is a super vinyl disc. Single pocket, which I'm a fan of. It's not the, uh, you know, it's not a gatefold. The gatefolds are becoming a little much as we progress with our collections and have limited space. It's nice to see single pocket sleeves. One of the absolute all-time greatest Mobile Fidelity discs one of the best sounding records you'll own if you own this record. It is killer. Bill Withers, uh, Greatest Hits. What an absolute banger. I talk about it all the time. It's a demo disc for me. I highly recommend it. You should own that. Get it while you can. This is back in print. Cindy Loppers, she's so unusual. 
Uh, this was one of these uh, deleted SKUs that just is back. And this is actually an analog cut. Hey, check that out. This is, it's a, made from a safety tape, but it's a half inch 30 IPS analog copy, analog console and lathe. This is an all analog MoFi. Also back in stock is Santana 1. Double disc 45 RPM. We've got Randy Travis's Storms, Storms of Life back in stock. Okay, Taylor Swift, we've got T-Swift here. All kinds of Taylor Swift, 1989, this is Taylor's version. I've got the standard blue vinyl, Crystal Skies blue vinyl, five previously unreleased songs from the vault with unique folder, photos, and unique art. I always liked her, I mean, her covers are quite cool. I dig them. I mean, I don't listen to Taylor Swift, but like if you're a collector, like this is great. Got all kinds of stuff to collect. This is the Aqua Marine Green Edition with unique photos. And then we have the Rose Garden Pink Vinyl. There's a fourth variant. Who knows? Maybe we'll get that. Maybe we won't. I don't even know what the fourth variant is. But uh, yeah. So we've got the three variants. We've got the cassette tape and we've got more. But well, wait. There's more. Okay, so two great Blue Note Tone Poets. We've got Jack Wilson's Easterly Winds. Lee Morgan's on this, Jackie McLean, Jack Wilson, of course. Bob, Billy Higgins on drums. And I always, one of my favorite jazz musicians, one of my favorite uh, all-around guitar players, Kenny Burrells. This is KD Blues. Uh, beautiful uh, cover on this. Did a great job on this. These are both all analog, cut from the original master tape by Kevin Gray. The next in the line of OJC series titles, this is uh, Dave Brubeck's Jazz at Oberlin. This is a record that I am actually was excited about this because there's a lot of titles that are, you know, if you got the money, granted you gotta have the money, you can go find nice clean originals, for instance. I don't care how much money you have, you really just don't find clean original, not that this is an expensive record, but you're not finding a lot of like near mint copies of first pressings of this. It's just a very difficult record to find. They're noisy and they're just not easy to come by. Uh, so to have a nice all analog cut by Kevin Gray from the original master tape copy of this with a beautiful tip on jacket, I'm like this is a no brainer. This is a great OJC. Bob Marley and the Whalers. This is the 50th anniversary of Catch a Fire. So this has a full Paris Theater, London gig for the first time, eight before, never heard, alternative extended versions, on three tracks from the famous Sundown Theater gig in London, plus a 24 page book. Oop, and they use the uh, lighter, it's got the US front cover and it's got the original uh, back. I'm not familiar with this record, but this record, like look at it, it's like, it, this just screams, buy this. We'll start with the hype. It's Willie Colon, Hector Laveau, AAA, all analog, cut by Kevin Gray at Coherent. Uh, is this a Fania? Who is this? But yeah, check it that out. Yeah, this is a Fania release. They're all fantastic. All these Fania releases that Kevin's done have been great, but that cover is like, it's like this looks cool. Well, I want to hear that. Zoe Celeste. Restless, what? Restless thoughts. It's been a while, maybe like since two weeks ago. The newest from King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard. This is the Silver Chord, the extended mix on Lucky Rainbow Wax. All right, Half Speed Mastered from Abbey Road. We've got Benjamin Britten's War Requiem. This is first ever release on LP. New 24-bit uh, 192, high resolu resolution transfer from the original master tapes. Uh, let's see, 56 page booklet, made in Italy. Oh man, look at these two boxes over here. Let me crack them out. This is fantastic. Dorothy Ashby with strings. This is a six LP box set from Newland. These are all analog, cut from the original master tape by Kevin Gray. This box rocks, it's really good. 
Uh, it's a lot of her prestige and cadet stuff. I got this box about six, seven, six, seven months ago from them directly. I had to import it from overseas, but my distributor had them, so gobble that up. And Billy Joel Volume 2. This is all the albums that uh, people have difficulty getting. Well, mainly Stormfront and River of Dreams. Also, it has Fantasies and Delusions and then a never released on vinyl concert uh, long from, live from Long Island. So it's Glass Houses to the end, plus a 60-page booklet, and then the 3LP live from Long Island. God, I feel like I'm going to end up with this just for that concert. I got the rest. Actually, I don't have uh, Fantasies and Delusions. Did that even come out on vinyl? Maybe it did, maybe it did. Don't know. Eight. The self-titled from eight. Boy with Luke. Lucid Dreams. Ooh, chewing. Thrilling sounds of haunted houses. The 1979 updated collection of spooky sound effects. Perfect. In time. For, I remember about 10 years ago, trick-or-treating with my kid, and somebody had an actual record player outside playing that. I'm like, this is great. Everybody else is doing it, so why can't we? The Cranberries. This is a green limited vinyl variant. It's not cheap. This thing's like 50 bucks. I had to import this, but you can't get it in the U.S., and this is a new repressing of it on green vinyl. It uses the Abbey Road mastering that was done a few years back. The cheapest you can get that particular version is like 100 So it's like this was a no-brainer. From the same series, it is a limited edition colored vinyl variant of purple. Shooter Jennings. In the Werewolves of Los Angeles, do Zevon. So it's a Warren Zevon tribute album. Pretty cool. Check it out. Bing Crosby. Christmas gems. So it's like a new compilation, right? But it comes with a Christmas ornament. Look at that, right on the front. You get a record, you get a Christmas ornament. It's very thoughtful of them. Baby Queen. Quarter life crisis. She needs to clean that room. Oh man, look how she's storing her vinyl too. That's just ridiculous. Somebody needs to have a talk with her. Purple vinyl. This is Jimmy Buffett's brand new album. This, <coughs> excuse me, I actually got a uh, the original one sheet on this, advertising this like a week after he passed. So this is a record that he intended to release. He just didn't live to see it come out. I don't think this is one of these cobbled together posthumous releases. I think this was a planned studio album. We've got Bruce Lau, Waves, on a Deutsche Grammophon. Van Morrison, Accentuate the Positive. The new album on Limited Blue Vinyl. I'm a little angry with uh, Van Morrison, personally. He was selling autographed test pressings on his website for his last album, but they were like 300 bucks. Autographed test pressing. I got it. It was a rubber stamp. I'm like, you know, getting an autograph by a legend is cool. On vinyl, I'm not a huge autograph person, but I went on his website, I bought it. It was literally a rubber stamp. You could see the outline of the rubber, and I contacted the label, and they're like, no, no, that's his signature. I'm like, I went online and looked. Everybody's got the exact same signature. No, it's not. I got hosed. Actually, I've got it on the website as pre-owned. You know, it's still a test pressing, but you can see the rubber stamp BS signature. AJR, the Maybe Man. The Chats, get effed. That's kind of a new thing uh, yeah, with musicians selling uh, counterfeit autographs on their own websites. Ziggy Alberts, Made of Water. Bob Dylan got tied up in it. Ozzy Osbourne did it. The Struts, pretty vicious on purple vinyl. But yet, somehow, Taylor Swift, the most popular artist on the face of the planet who sells out stadiums six of nights in a row, still has time to sign 10,000 CDs. So, you know, 
what does that tell you about those other guys? Sparks, one of the coolest album titles of all time, a woofer in Tweeter's clothing. Great record on Friday Music. Came out for Record Store Day. That was a Record Store Day first. Now we've got the standard Record Store Day. Uh, so this is the uh, self-title with the second cover when they changed their name from Half Nelson to Sparks. But those were probably on colored vinyl. These are the standard black vinyl ver versions. Art Pepper's Stardust on Omnivore Records. <coughs> mm. Motorheads, another perfect day. This is continuing with the bound book deluxe editions of their albums. Three LP uh, includes the album and then live at Hull City. Hull City Hall? Uh, yeah, LP two and three. Looks like there's a book and some other stuff in there as well. All right. The album that started it all. Auto-tuning, that is. Shares Believe. This ro record is responsible for 20 years worth of mediocre music on the radio. Maybe 15 years. Seems like auto-tuning is still alive, but there was that over-auto-tuning era, and that was all due to this record right here. Believe by Cher. This is a box set with the album and a separate disc with remixes. Looks like two discs with remixes. Cool box. Foil, leopard skin and print, 3LP set. Includes a numbered lithograph. Okay, this is a record that uh, was like 600 bucks before they announced this reissue. Dave Matthews, before these crowded streets. Big, big dollar record. Finally got a repress. Billy Joel, Piano Man. Like, I don't know why, but this is the only Billy Joel record you can buy that's not in a box set. You can buy Volume 1 box set, Volume 2 box set, but if you want to buy just a standalone Billy Joel record, this is the only option. It's ridiculous. Like, Billy Joel stuff really needs to be in print. They're not easy to find clean records anymore. They're not impossible. It's not like finding an original Shags record, but they're not easy to find. Neil Young, Time Fades Away. 50th anniversary, limited edition. Includes a bonus track, The Last Trip to Tulsa. Mastered from the original analog tapes on the Sparks Code. Great record. Robert Palmer, Sneakin' Sally Through the Alley. This is on Island. Really good record. Not a very easy record to find either. Didn't have the commercial success that his later stuff did. UFO, Hollywood, 1976. Watan, Die in Fire. What the hell is this? Die in the Fire. F the world, live in the hell, to the death, ride free, fair, far, drink deep, die hard, live in the fire, F to die. That's the name of this record on uh, yellow and red vinyl. Okay. A nuclear blast. Uh, Christine McVie, in the meantime, on vinyl for the first time. This is her 2004 studio album, 2LP set, with a songbird etching on side four. Cool. Glad I got to see her with Buckingham, Lindsay Buckingham, on their solo tour right before she passed. Self-titled album. Christine McVie, I got like fifth row for $8 because I don't think it sold out for, you know, it didn't sell very well, which is an absolute shame. I guess people just don't know. Buddy Guy and Junior Wells. Let's see, limited to a thousand copies on blue and red marble vinyl. Last time around live at Legends. This is number 642. All right, there's only one row and then the SACDs. Monkeys, Headquarters. This is from Friday Music. This is the mono cut. Suffocation. Hymns from the Apaca... Apaca something. I just still to this day can't read death metal, doom, stoner metal, you know, that font. Willie Nelson's Greatest Hits, Six Decades of Willie's Best, 25 Essential Songs, two LPs from every era 
of Willie's incomparable career. On the road again. Actually, it's a pretty solid little list there. This is cool. <laughs> Mickey Dolan's from the Monkees sings R.E.M. Look at that cover. It's great. Radio for Europe, Man on the Moon, on 7A Records. All right, Brown Acid, The Seventh Trip. Great compilation. Well, this is the 17th trip. I'm like, well, I, think I felt like we were a little higher than the seventh. The 17th trip, 17th volume. Looks like we're kind of in the uh, 70s, some 60s. Motorhead, another perfect day, 40th anniversary, Half Speed Master on orange vinyl. This is the single disc to the deluxe box. The Trans-Siberian Orchestra, Christmas Eve and Other Stories. This is the one everybody wants, I think, yeah. Crystal clear vinyl, part of the Atlantic 75 series. Yeah, that's their big hit, right? Christmas Eve? Pretty sure. All right. Oh, we got more Christmas albums. We've got Chicago. Greatest Christmas hits. We've got the Blues Traveler. Traveler's Soul. So this is an R&B album by the Blues Traveler. By the Blues Travelers. They're doing Stevie Wonder, Dr. John. Hmm. Could be good. Future. Self-titled. Part of the Hip Hop 50th campaign that's going on right now. We've got LA Guns live in concert. Run DMC down with the King 30th anniversary of their hip hop 50th. Oh, this is limited to 1993. This is 458. Fuming Moth. Last day of sun. The Warlocks, Heavy Duty Skull Lover, Duran Duran, three new songs, covers and reimagined classics. Yeah, okay, see I thought last week this was an album of theirs, it's not, this is exactly what I just said it is. But they do a cover, I saw the cover online of Psycho Killer from the Talking Heads. Carly Simon's No Secrets. This is a Friday music release. Carcass, Surgical Steel, Red and Black Splatterwax. Van Morrison's Moondance. I think this actually uses the Acoustech Kevin Gray all analog mastering, if I'm not mistaken. I'm almost positive. Pretty sure the Back in Black is using the old metal work. The newer version is using the Kevin Gray Coherent, which is digitally sourced. Slayer. Repentless. So I hear. I could be wrong on that. We've got uh, the Rolling Stones, Lidded Bleed. One of the greatest albums of all time, according to Rolling Stone. Forget what they say, but I will tell you, this is one of the greatest albums of all time. They just happen to be right this one time. Only this once. All right. Altered Images Bite. Original cut. Cut? Ooh, this could be analog, right? Yeah, maybe. Cut from the original Stereo Master tapes at Air Mastering. Sounds analog to me. Okay. Let me show you guys the SACDs. We've got a huge SACD restock. Some of these things are new. Uh, new. Miles Davis, Seven Steps to Heaven. Some of these are reactivated. I think, I don't know, maybe this one isn't, but uh, Miles. Uh, Davis, Miles Smiles, Doobie Brothers, Paul Simon, there goes the Ryman Paul Simon, Jefferson Airplane, Surrealistic Pillow, the uh, David Crosby, if I could only remember my name, the a mono version of a self-titled Dylan, Dire Straits, Brothers in Arms, and Lobo, Lobos Kiko, Los Lobos Kiko. Miles Davis, In a Silent Way, Billy Joel's Glass Houses, 
This is the mono freewheel and Bob Dylan. Carly Simon's No Secrets. Boy, this is number 97. I don't think I've ever, ever gotten anything from Mobile Fidelity under 100. That's crazy. I didn't even think they mailed anything out under 100 to their customers, you know, to customers. Bob Dylan's Desire. Crosby, Stills, and Nash, the Couch Album. Eagles on the Border. Miles in the Sky. Eric Clapton Unplugged and Bill Withers' Greatest Hits. But wait, there's more. Some more new ones in here, too. Bob Dylan, uh, self-titled. This is the stereo. Carol King's Tapestry. Chicago. Ray Charles' Genius After Hours. Janis Joplin's Pearl. Blonde on Blonde, Bob Dylan. Billy Joel, 52nd Street. I think these Billy Joels are all reactivated because I'm almost positive those were out of print. Chicago, is this Chicago too? I think that's Chicago too. And to go with the Mobile Fidelity One Step, we also got uh, the SACDs of greeting, Greetings from Asbury Park. Eagles, The Long Run. Bob Dylan, Times Are A-Changing. This is limited to mono. They only did uh, 3,000 monos on all the Dylans. Miles Davis, Porgy and Bass, that's also a number to 3,000. Miles Davis, Nefertiti, Jerry Garcia, David Grishman, and the band, The Last Waltz. That is it for this week's new arrival video. You can get all this stuff online at theingroove.com. Until next time.